Hey Reddit Viper, this is Sector Force. I wanted to go over a couple of attacks, not from our last war, but actually from the war before that with Thessaloniki, before they uh, fall out of the queue and aren't viewable anymore. Um, I wanted to highlight four different attacks, all three stars that were uh, pretty notable and stood out for me. Um, let's see here, we want to go to enemy. And we'll start at the top here. I wanted to show Tram's really textbook go wee wee attack on their number five. Um, let's pause it here. He brings three golems, five witches, 13 wizards, eight wall breakers, two archers, heroes, and I believe he just has wizards in the clan castle. Um, this setup he astutely noticed has uh, single targeting infernos, which makes um, Go Wee Wee the correct choice since the single targeting infernos are very weak against witches. Um, so let's uh, see how this plays out here. Attacks from the top left. Breaks the golems in, use the wizards to take out the buildings, drops the witches, drops the wall breakers to get a pathway in towards the core. Clan castle comes out, but it's not a big deal. There's already wizards in the way. No need for the archers for luring. The infernos locked onto one of the golems, but now as you can see, the advantage of the Go Wee Wee is they're just locking onto skeletons at this point and they're completely wasting their firepower. So it's a really good way. Witches are a really great way to neutralize single targeting infernos. Oops. Um, so this attack finishes up nicely since I pulled it off the map. Spoiler alert, this is a three star. And a pretty nice one at that. So, there we go. Nice three star against Town Hall 10. Okay. The next one I wanted to highlight was uh, Moki's really nice go wipe attack on number 11. Again, spoiler, three star, but let's take a look at it here. So he is bringing two golems, two pekkas, 16 wizards, four hogs, and I don't remember what he had in the clan castle. I guess we will find out. This is, yes, the walls on this base are pretty weak, but the defenses are not super weak so I, I think I would I would have to say yes this is a base very well suited towards um, let me go ahead and pause this for a second I, I just looked at my notes and there's something I want to talk about here the I really wanted to, to show off the use of the hogs um, to really get in and fully lure the clan castle so let me go back because I did this attack a disservice to not highlight that better. So here we go. Watch how he uses the hogs to get into the base far enough to fully lure the clan castle. So there we go. Clan castle is fully lured. Then he drops archer, pulls him out to the perimeter. Once the archer's down, drops another archer farther away, continues to pull him out. Again with the archer, starting to bunch them up. Now some barbarians. Now a clan castle, which has barbarians, archers, and looks like witches. Dumps all the wizards, and bam. Clan castle handled. Now he drops the golems. And I'm sure wall breakers are coming next. Yep, there's wall breakers. Wizards to take out all the peripheral buildings. Typical go wipe. Take the peripheral buildings out. Make a hole down the center or slightly off-center in this case. Once you have a hole punched pretty close to the core, drop your P.E.K.K.A.s, rage them into the core, 
or in this case, jump them into the core. Drop heroes as well, form your kill squad, get in there, rage the core. And if everything works, you're good from there. I just wanted to emphasize this. I know this base has weak walls. Um, other than that, it's not terribly rushed. I'm sure people will dispute that, but a well-executed uh, go wipe with a proper lure like we saw can be a three-star attack if done correctly. So at the end, the core is gutted. We still have, it looks like, seven wizards there couple of pekkas archer queens basically not damaged totally enough to take out oh, another peripheral wizard definitely enough to take out the remaining buildings one storage and some collectors so yep it goes for an easy well planned out three star Back to the war map. I'm trying to show a variety of different ways you can get three star attacks here. Now, Sticks, Hold My Sticks actually had two really great hog attacks. Um, he wanted me to talk about number two. I was actually going to talk about number one, but um, I will pull into number two. But this is my first time watching this replay, so we will watch it together. Um, if it's anything like number one, he's going to have a really great lure. So there's a couple of hogs right there to lure the clan castle. Yep. Um, so here comes Clan Castle, looks like very similar Clan Castle composition, and then an archer on the drill there to pull them over. Now this is actually a better luring location in my opinion, which may or may not be worth anything, because we are luring them out to fully out of range of that mortar. When uh, Moki lured, it was there was, there was one mortar that could kind of get close, so... I really like that this pulls them all the way out of range of all of the defenses to be dealt with with a little circle of wizards. And that's the end of the clan castle. There we go. They're handled. Wizards move in, take out a couple of peripheral buildings while Styx picks his entry points. Now this base is particularly well suited for hogs because as you can see, the layout does not allow for any double giant bomb locations. Um, double giant bombs can really wreck hogs. He is preemptively healing. Um, actually, that might not have been a preemptive heal. I was I thought for a second there was a, a possible giant bomb there. Let's speed this up. Hogs do their work. Occasional heals to keep them healthy. When hogs work, they really are impressive. Still some wizards alive. Not much damage on the Barbarian King. There's that bomb, but didn't even take him out. And we're good. So a very successful hog attack. One more that I wanted to talk about was a really nice mass dragon attack by Adam S. Um, our last war with Higgs actually had a lot of these Town Hall 8 bases with centralized level 6 air defenses. Um, and because of that, we had a lot of problems getting three stars off of those bases. So this is a good example of a three rage, uh, three rage mass dragon attack, with I believe loons in the clan castle. So, again, textbook setting up his funnel on a side, setting up his funnel dragon funnel on a side with the two air defenses closest to that side. If there were air defenses of unequal strength, you would want to pick the two strongest air defenses so the dragons get to them as quickly as possible. His base design is not ideal for anti-air because the storages are so far away from the air defenses that the dragons can take out the air defenses without even being in range of them. 
So there he drops a rage, probably as a pathway for, yep, there's his loons. So those loons will go straight into the core through that rage. Nice thing about Master Dragon, no need to lure. The dragons will eat anything that comes out of a clan castle, no problem. Um, loons wandering off on their own, but still did enough damage to the air defense to give these dragons enough bite to get through the core, get through all three air defenses, and at that point it is game over. There are way too many dragons alive. There are way not enough buildings around um, for this base to survive with anything less than a three-star with plenty of time left. Didn't even need the Barbarian King. Dropped it. Good to go. Perfect attack. If we could make all our attacks like that, we would have no problem three-starring these difficult uh, Town Hall 8s. Okay, that's what I've got from the last war. Um, I wanted to review the current war a little bit, but I need to get more prepared for that. I just wanted to make sure I caught these recaps before I um, wasn't able to access them anymore because I'm not sure how long they stick around. So I will make another video and probably splice them together to talk about strategy for the current war.